Yeah, I mean, I agree. It just grabbing a Yorion at will is... Yeah, it's just, it's just good. Three mana to... It's, it's basically like a tutor. It's a three mana tutor. Pretty right? much, yeah. I mean, that's what companion is. Yeah, it, it doesn't that, cost you a card. For that specific card, yeah. Yeah, it's a it's a it's for that specific card, but usually like a tutor actually takes you down a card and then you get the card you want. Whereas companion is a three mana. Yeah. I, it I doesn't cost me a resource other than that turn. Yeah, tutor's not a great thing for it, I don't think, because that is one for one. It's actually just plus one, but it's not right. tutor's normally a toolbox thing and it's not a toolbox thing. Okay, while will you and play tapped uh, over in tomb, I believe. Okay. Uh, let's see what you have. Inquisition, correct. I think they should just unban Splinter Twin. <laughs> I do think they should just unban Splinter Twin, TBH. I actually play uh, Sahili Cat in Modern. It's one of my decks. So Inquisition is going to rip the Wren out of hand. Oh, Terry, you want to get a prediction up? I'm sure. Let's get a prediction up, chat. Get ready to vote. The answer is always unbanned Splinter Twin. I, I I agree. Give it to us. Zach fetching up land. Get your votes in. Yeah, predictions up. Go ahead and vote. Lily. Interesting. Try to deprive the blink deck of the resources that it surprises. Iteration, pretty good card. Expressive Iteration is just so powerful. Look at three and then basically get two. 
Yeah. I mean, you have to hit a land or a, you know, a free spell generally cuz a lot of a lot of times players aren't doing it with a lot of free yeah. mana, but it, it does have a real restriction and the it decks does. that are uh much more top heavy. But uh it's yeah, it's it's pretty gross. Yeah. The other thing is those decks that are really top heavy, they also run a lot of lands, so you're just like really likely to hit land in your in three cards. Goyf counting, I think. See what the dice says here. I thought they saw Zach go up to five. Goyf was always so tough because it made Bolt, you know, a, uh, not the best removal spell. Um, but with Prismatic ending in, in March, you know, in those kind of cards, Fatal Push. And Holy Heat. Yeah, and Holy Heat. Yeah, Goyf was king for a while there because there just wasn't that much that dealt with a two mana, four, five, or five, six. Right. But with when there is efficient answers for it, you're 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 spending two mana to trade down on tempo basically. So it just kinda became unpopular, but Yep, it is five. Buying that Yorion. Cast Yorion, Flicker Abundant Growth, get to draw a card. Seems pretty good. Uh, no creativity decks tonight that I know of. Swinging in. Goyf landing, landing the damage. Yeah, iteration. I, but, oh, sorry, go ahead. No, I was just going to say, I wonder if he's just going to go with Yorion here. No, that's an Omnath. And he's going to wait. Oh, he might be. Does he play, play a fetch land? I was going to say, does he still have land drop here? Yes, he does. Yeah, that's really cool. Play a fetch land, fetch, make the mana, tap that land, catch Yorion as well, flicker. Oh, yeah, that's really gross. It's, it's so gross when you either have something for five mana to do with that extra mana from the fetch land like you were on or solitude and then it's also just really gross if you just want to gain eight life right by fetch fetching on their turn after you play the fetch print a new goif that draws two on etb yeah oh my goodness i mean that was basically uro right <laughs> a goif that draws a land or draws a card puts an extra land into the battlefield and then you get to do it again Yeah, Graveyard Hate does seem like kind of light in general right now. I'm kind of tempted to play like a uh, Jeskai Ascendancy combo or like one of those like Underworld Breach combos or something like that right now. I don't know if it's actually good or not, but it's just like I'm, I really like those kind of decks, so I kind of want to try it. Endurance is still pretty present. It kind of makes it hard. Arena Goyf would be card types in hand.
This has to be a terrible matchup for Jund. I would imagine it's not great. I feel like Blink deck should be able to outgrind it pretty easily, and it's not fast enough at all to get under it. So I would imagine it's a good matchup for Blink. Yeah, Omnath is just not a card you want to see on the battlefield. The life gain, the value, the... Yeah, it's just... For Blink, Jun Saga's a buy. Yeah, I I feel like it can't be a very difficult matchup for, for Blink. Play the Yorion. Gonna draw a couple cards. Uh, is that gonna Boseju the Abundant Harvest so he doesn't get to draw? Oh, well, I mean, Boseju wasn't really doing gonna, anything. So. Gonna get another Landfall Trigger and deal four from Omnath though. I think, I mean, this one feels a little past the point of no return, I would say, for Jund at this point. Yeah, I just don't Zach's, know if there's anything Zach can rip the game out of this. Zach's empty-handed here, and it's just... He, I mean, he just drew one card, and he's swinging in. That's interesting. I think you just seen if he get it through. Yeah, oh, I got another one. Okay. Right. Gut check. Well, I mean, if you're not doing anything else, you're already really, really far behind, and maybe the opponent thinks you have some sort of combat trick. You're just power swinging. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I counterspell that, Ragavan. <laughs> yeah. And Zach says, I've had enough. Players taking a look. Do we have two keepers? Let's see endurance. Yep, looks like they're keeping. Okay. Yorion of wits. Bobble myself. <laughs> Draw the card without fetching. We must have wanted it. It's a cool trick if you uh, don't know with bobble and a fetch land, you can just you know look at the top card if you want to keep it. Uh, don't fetch. You know, draw it on the next upkeep. Uh, if you do, um, if, you, if you don't want it, go ahead and fetch and get a different card than what's on top for your draw. Fetch a John Trium. Soon. Soon. Poor Shard Volley says, please no Phoenix Mirror. <laughs> I don't know, Phoenix Mirror sounds fun to me. Turn two Ren, put that land back in hand. Seems pretty solid. Yeah, that that's something Jun's definitely interested in doing against this deck. Just gives him a bit of a grindier aspect. Yeah, you you can endurance uh in response to like the the Ren activation to let him not get the land back. I wonder what the players sideboarded in. I think Jesse brought Clothis back in for this matchup as well. Uh, I would think. Yeah, I, I would too, but... It's like another grindy card that... Uh... Pretty good at hating out some of the graveyard stuff Zach has going on. It's not like a lot of graveyard stuff, but just enough. Right. He still plays on Holy Heats. He's still playing DRC. Right. You know, cards that care about Delirium.
Ragabash. Make a treasure and let's see that top card. Bye bye, Omnath. Gotta love that. It's definitely a card you want to see Ragavan hit. Yep, I was going to say, it is a trigger, so you can respond to it. I have had that happen to me. <laughs> uh, for context, someone asked in chat if you can respond to a, er, the first Urza Saga trigger and destroy it before it even can produce a mana. Um, you, you can. You can, like, March the Otherworldly Light makes that really relevant. Uh, wear Tear. Just playing a Ragavan out, not dashing it. With three mana open, Zach didn't want to dash into an ambush, I'm guessing. Yeah, might be... Scared of endurance. Did he? He didn't. He doesn't like know that it's there, right? Endurance. No, I'm. I don't know that he knew it was there. I'm just thinking he was being careful. Yeah. With three mana open in the deck he's playing, I'm I'm assuming he probably just kind of could you know tell it was a trap. Does he have boil? Brought in boil in this matchup. It looks like he does. Second card right there. Yeah, it's not looking too hot here. Gets the one land right. Yeah, right now just get that triumph. Gonna terminate that endurance. I'm so fast. Ephemerating the endurance. So the terminate is gonna miss. Oh, nice. I like it. Jesse has the art card of Ephemerate to put on the top of the deck to remind him of the Ephemerate uh, rebound trigger, if he would like to do it. <laughs> that's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's good. That is good. Bricker jumped in the box, and did you stomp your opponent this round? It, it was not. It wasn't great. It wasn't great? I, I mean, I won. Oh, okay. But... I won a best of one because it was land destruction against counter magic and it just didn't go very well. Mm, okay. Opponent said, I'm not going to do this. It was a counter spell into snap counter spell. And like the best part was I spreading seized one of his lands so he couldn't like target it to blow it up. It would actually blow it up because it's now island and it removes the tax of indestructible. Uh, oof. So he like. That whole plan of ramping and getting ahead of me just wasn't a thing. But that's very balanced. It said, I don't care what you do. You know, it be how it do. But right now, for me, technically, I don't know how the prize pool is with the box, but I didn't care who to win. <laughs> we were going to do 60 packs across the top four. So Tarmogoyf. So Zach with a little bit of a little bit of a board here, but we'll see. Blink just yeah, just spews onto the battlefield sometimes. 
We saw Jesse do it last time. Omnath, Fetchland. Honestly, the thing Zach should be worried about is Solitude Ephemerate. Yeah. Which could happen here. But I don't know. When we play 80 cards, it's less likely to happen. Because that's the thing we get to do with Blink. I'm genuinely surprised they didn't just kind of like take Yorion to out back with Luris. <laughs> Like, I'm I'm so... I'm literally shocked that they didn't do it. But we put a breeding pool in exile. One card in hand. Other one in the bottom. Of course. What are you going to do? Because you have plenty of lands in hand. But how... What have you guys watched today? Um, we watched... We watched Shadow twice... Um, and we watched Blink versus whatever he played last round. Nice. Dodge me every round. Good job, guys. You were on camera quite a bit. I mean, yeah, but like, not as a feature match. Which is good. Atta boy. Well, well I, like to hear. I mean, you were in the control mirror the first round, so we're not. Yeah, that's what the people want to see, bro. Paint drying is not what everybody wants to see. No, we were playing incredibly quick. It doesn't matter. It's still watching paint dry. Nah, dude. <laughs> not when you got solitudes in the mix. You guys are just uncultured. I want it to be known that String Bean did say, as soon as he played his first land, he goes, "I'm so sorry, bro," and he played a Hollow Fountain tapped, and I'm like, "Oh, so this is where we're this is what we're doing." Nice. And I felt bad because he gave me the thought distortion. We got the boil here. Gonna nab two lands, I think. That's actually kind of huge. I, we saw. Yep. Two lands gone. DRC and Ragavan getting in. Treasure. Top card. Oh, bye bye prismatic ending. Anyway, this is a uh, quite the beatdown. Huge turn for Zach, and then dropping a goif too. Jesse on tapping with three lands and no blue mana. Clock spin. Thanks for the follow. Alright, it's been good, guys. See you, Brick. See ya. I'm gonna go bully the guys on camera. Give him hell. Actually, there's not a spot available where I would. So that, uh, that's a Mesa, right, Taren? Yes. Probably so gonna I'm... have to fetch shock if he wants blue. Yeah. I mean, definitely has to fetch shock to get blue. That's how, so we have that's how that works. Fury? It looks like, uh, Fury's gonna... Oh, yeah, Fury's gross here. Pitching a Fury to a Fury. Pitching a Fury to a Fury. Oof. Uh, well, path on upkeep to so the lane comes in tap. Is that a path? Yep. Oh, I did not recognize that art. So Zach getting a basic mountain. See what Zach has in hand. Jesse able to wreck his board. Using a lot of, I mean, it's what you got to do, but two furies and a, and a path out of hand now. Down to two cards in hand for Jesse, but Zach down to one card as well. Or now two with the draw. And one of them a land. Jesse fetching up a trium. Oh, look like Zach was in a commanding spot just a second ago. 
He it did. <laughs> Fury just showing its power. I mean, you pitch a card to it, but that's a free. You didn't have to tap any mana, you know? Yeah. What's up, Amulet, for the win? Every time I read Cultivator Colossus, it just makes me want to play that card. Amulet's a pretty good deck, making use of it. We all know what Primetime does. Yorion. No advantage here, just getting the the beater and blocker out there. I'm gonna guess Saga was the top deck. Zach Zach has mana for days, Taren. Yeah. Just running out of gas. <laughs> Oh, wow, and the Spreading Seas on that saga. Oof. Draw a card. Spreading Seas, good. Unholy Heat was the last card in Zach's hand. There was Counterspell, but he doesn't have double blue up. Boil. So. Boil. The earlier boil, getting rid of the blue. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a fury. Just got a hard cast to here, right? Yeah, yeah. It's gonna close out the game somewhat quick. Oh no, Zach has a bolt. <laughs> We're just stuck in the mud here. Both, <laughs> both decks. Wow. Did did Zach look at his top card? I looked down at chat for a second. He might I'm assuming he looked at his top card with that fetch available, and now he's fetching it away. Zach drawing off the bobble. Looks like... Is that a Teth? Oh, Ren. DRC. A couple of threats here. That's a Ragavan in hand, too. Counter this one? Oh, uh, kind of the DRC. I mean, that's that's nice for Zach. That's what he yeah. wants to get countered here, because he'll pretty much be able to cast just about anything if this gets through. Yep, so he's going to make a treasure. He has tons of mana. Zach would love... Oh, uh, land. Oh. Zach. He would love to hit, like, uh, another Fury or an uh, Omnath himself or something like that. Right. I don't know if he'd be able to... He wouldn't be able to cast Omnath. With two? Uh, yeah, because he wouldn't have a green. No. He might, yeah. Green, red, and then the two treasures, yeah, white, yeah, blue. Yeah. yeah, he would be able to. Cycling away the land. Jesse using... Use, well, he's pinging here, but he was using Ren to get the cycle land so he could... Cycle the Triome away and draw a card. Yeah. I'm kind of... I'm a little surprised Jesse keeps deciding to use Ren to ping his opponents instead of just upticking it and trying to get to that ultimate. Uh, there's the, the question. We hadn't seen it. He is playing the Coddle. And we just hadn't seen it in the games we've watched. That's the 80 card deck for you. Yeah. <laughs> it's hidden in there. This is this is the stall point where I feel like the four collar blink 
just has more ways to draw cards than almost any other deck. Yeah, it, it just top decks so well. Almost every draw is gas and going to draw you into more things to do with your mana. Right. Playing Omnath, draw a card. Play a Teferi, draw a card. Spreading a seas. Draw a card. Abundant growth. Uh, is that an abundant growth? Yeah. Expressive iteration. Just There's Omnath. What did we say? There's Omnath. And yeah, Triumph plus Renin Six is uh you're exactly right. Yeah. Uh, cycle cycle draw. And he has a, a Prismatic Vista over there as well, I believe, right? The top card on the board by the land he just played. Yep. Crack it, make it mana. Yeah, the Omnath decks, or the four-color Yorion decks, are just like a touch slow to get off the ground. So if you're burn or you're just like super aggro prowess decks or like something like that or maybe even you know like amulet or other combo decks like you you might be able to get them then but then once it's gone it's good luck yeah this turn right here is just absolutely nuts for jesse Oh, Eternal Witness. Oh gosh. Wow. So, uh... What Yorion? Did you get back Yorion here? Probably. I, I mean, I would strongly consider it, given Omnath. Imagine, yeah, Iteration is probably just good, too. Yeah, yeah it's game two. That's why we need Belcher in the meta. I love some Belcher. Hell yeah. Um, Zach was actually playing Belcher yeah. for a while. I'll have to tell him to bust it out. I see was, if he still has it. It's funny, like the like a normal prowess deck is like probably pretty good against it. Um, but like the super prowess list I was playing is like not that good because them just having like one prismatic ending plus a solitude can be just like enough to ruin your day or like a, a well-timed fury or something. <laughs> yeah. Torpor, so, Torpor, Torpor, Torpor could be good, but it only stops creatures entering to, to draw cards and they have more ways than that to keep drawing cards. So it's just like... Plus they, I mean, they just it, it, play Teferi and bounce your Torpor Orb. Yeah. Yeah, they, they have an ending to take care of it. It's just, like, not really going to stop them. Like, Elementals was just, like, cold to it, you know, because they don't play anything but Elementals. It's not, I mean, I would probably side it in, depending on what deck I'm playing. Like, I play Scales, and I play two Torpor Orbs in the sideboard. Yeah. It's probably no, coming you, in. You bring it in, it's fine. It just doesn't stop it, especially if they get to, like, the point where they're grinding you out, like... They're gonna eventually hit the answer for it, or, or just have enough value, anyways. Uh, Jesse's up a game right now. Yeah, this one's pretty well in hand. Swinging away, Eternal Witness and Omnath. Right. Torpor makes it so that uh, even if they evoke the creatures for free, you don't get the ETB of them like exiling a creature or dealing four damage, but they still just stick on the battlefield then. So you can just you can just give your opponent a turn two, three, three double striker for free, basically. Not for free. It's like obviously pretty steep cost, but still. We ran uh, scales uh, through uh, our apex modern gauntlet on tuesday um that's up on our youtube if you want to want to go watch that 
So that's going to do it. That, that turn, I mean, we were talking about before Jesse even top deck, but that turn just blew it out of the water. Uh, the insane value from four color blank.